So welcome everybody to the first EdTech Tools Fest. Hi, Nurhan. Hi, everyone. Can you leave a note in the text chat where you're connecting from? This is absolutely fantastic to see you all online, even at ungodly hours. So the person who's connecting with the most ungodly hour, and I'm not talking about 7 a.m. in Argentina. <laughs> <laughs> the person with the most ungodly hour <laughs> will receive a prize at the end of the day. <laughs> so we're going to um ah interesting. <laughs> Everything has got killed here for some reason. I lost the um Helena, could you perhaps present the slides? <laughs> sure. Um, here we are. Oops. <laughs> All these windows popping up. It's taking a while. Okay, let me share then. Is that okay? Or shall I... Click presentation view. Yeah. I won't have uh, I won't have good. access to admit people. I'll be there in a second. Okay. <laughs> so, India, we have people from all over the world. Thank you so much for coming. That's beautiful. <clears throat> Tule is from Germany. Bernhard, mm -hmm. Deb Fatima. So thank you very much, everyone, for uh, being here with us. We just spend the first five minutes with a quick introduction because we're looking forward to Georgia Maneta, who is connecting from Greece, from Thessalonik, Thessalonica. How Thessaloniki. Would you that? Thessaloniki. Thessaloniki in Greece from the Beyond Expo. It's an exhibition where everything is all about AI. And she's been able to meet Sophia already. That's the robot, the Hong Kong-based, like from the Hong Kong-based company, the, robot, the famous robot, Sophia. She was able to meet her already. And uh, we're looking forward to Georgia connecting in five minutes. So we'll have to be a little bit quick just to go through the program and the highlights, especially. We have a beautiful set of... Um, presentations in store and it's all about edtech tools and edtech tools is the uh, edtech tools fest is the new name of what used to be the virtual roundtable conference which we've run since 2009 and during which it always was about tools educational tools but in the advent of um, us creating a platform to provide further information on edtech tools, namely in form of video conferences, we decided to rename the virtual roundtable and give it a you know edtech tools fest. So we hope to run edtech tools fest on a perhaps in the beginning semi semi annual basis, and then eventually on a more frequent basis. I don't know as of yet. We'll see how it develops. We're looking forward to presentations from about Quiz 42, Twi, Ego, AI, from Paul, who's coming in from Japan, Martin, Jignesh coming in from, from India, Magdalena, who is in uh, Poland. Then we look for very much at, that's at 12 p.m., Helena, who has been experimenting with an API key of uh, OpenAI, and GPT, yes. Chat GPT, and sp specifically, so OpenAI is Chat GPT, and she's using the API keys, and she's showing you tremendous, beautiful things that she's done in uh, importing that in in Second Life in the virtual world. And one of the highlights today is going to be the panel discussion on AI and virtual worlds. Now everybody's just going to ask us why still virtual worlds is in the advent of AI, is that not out anyway? VR is uh, becoming less and less pop popular. 
And I said, well, I believe that AI has the greatest potential ever in virtual worlds because of the nature of being a conversation partner. And interestingly, last night we heard a presentation by one of the Lindens of Second Life who presented an AI and he was talking at length about how this conversation partner can be a real buddy. Now, if you can have a buddy talking in the target language that you wish to learn in a virtual environment that impresses on your mind that immersive nature of, say, the foreign country, then you're bound to have a very, very sort of realistic simulation of what you could encounter if you were to travel into the country, which many of us would love to do, but just simply can't afford it. So I'm following the panel discussion with very high caliber people and also an AI companion provided by Kaylee West or Dr. Scott Grant in Monash University. Um, after the panel discussion, we'll have a workshop on role playing with ChatGDP. We have Mary Allegra talking about magic school AI and Amani coming in with so many tools. <laughs> so we'll have to give her 40 minutes presentation time. And Tal Levy from Israel, first time ever, MagniLearn. We're really looking forward to this one. Then we are uh, absolutely delighted to have Nick Peachy, who is at the moment the go-to person when it comes to know-how about how to use ChatGPT and other AI tools in class. Nick Peachy, who is in the UK, has been in the language learning field, the tech guru and the innovative person as per se, and consistently in the last 20 years. And he's the source of information, which is absolutely, and we were just talking, just talking to Chris, um, we are together in just a telegram group that he put together around his first course on ChatGPT. <clears throat> Just uh, also part to subscribing because it's like he comes out with these things first. He's the first one. Nick Peachy also received twice the uh, Innovation Award Eltons. That's from the British Council. And uh, after that, we look forward to just a few more presentations. Paul Mayer from Belgium on uh, animated um, AI characters. Sorry. Mustafa is, will be talking about Indivi Books, uh, which is a, a tool that helps you uh, come to grips with um, PDFs, you know, marking PDFs in a beautiful and a collaborative way. And Gislaine, that is a very, very spontaneous last minute um, entry to the, uh, to, to the presentation club. Um, because uh, I observed that she was trying to look for possibilities to introduce, uh, no, her, her findings on PI. PI is the tool. And it helps to pronounce or it helps to converse. I'm not quite sure what it is, but she um, introduced that last night in a, one of the newsletters. And a special Welcome now to Jignesh. Uh, let him join. Okay. And uh, so anyway, she, she might present, but she might not get around to doing it so spontaneously. Anyway, I invited her. So that's it, the program overview. But let me just briefly just spend one more minute before. Um, is she already here? Georgia, she's not here as of yet. Not huh? yet. No. Okay. Well, that gives us a minute or two um, to introduce um, EdTech Tools. That's a startup which we founded, Helena, myself, and Martin is part of the team, founded 2020, in August 2020. And we've been working on this one since ever, like in four years. And it, we feel like not much is showing as of yet. Um, but we've been putting the seed into the ground and we've been trying to nourish the soil. 
And we're looking at the first sprouts. But as of yet, the harvest is still a little bit away. But it's a startup. And as startups are, they are, um, we, you come out with a product, you look at it, you reevaluate it, you find that you might have to change things a lot. The first test group was in the system. They provided feedback. And so we keep twiddling at the very beginnings or uh, still before going out very much into the open, but it's in the planning. Ah, Gamzi is here. Hey, yeah. And uh, Georgia Maneta, who will be connecting from beyond the AI exhibition, we're waiting for her to come in. So um, the video courses, what is special about the video courses, if you could just forward the slides real quick now, Helena. Um, it's a platform, it's a web shop. We want to do the skill sharing principle a little bit like Udemy. So teachers put the courses online. We have a learning management system on the next slide um, that provides us little sort of framework of just creating one hour courses on a particular tool. And it's the teachers who use the tool in class who explain how to use it, why to use it, what is the speciality about it and how, how you know, to go about it. And um, we want them to earn money doing this. That's the whole idea of EdTech Tools to enable many to, to earn money with their asynchronous courses, but perhaps also uh, in future workshops, who knows? So that's it from our side. The team, we introduced the team real quick. That's Helena Galani. Can you forward? Yeah, skill sharing is the principal. Helena, who will be speaking and presenting at 12 uh, noon at GMT today. And uh, she is my most trusted friend. Very, I highly, highly consider her technical skills, her fantastic pedagogical skills. She's at the moment teaching like 12 hours a day, teaching English online, offline, and she lives and breathes being an English teacher with technology. So she has a beautiful house in Second Life and she does in Open Sim, she does amazing amount of um, adventurous things with her students. And she's been the lead moderator of the Evo session this year because of her outstanding qualifications and everything. And I'm so happy to be working with her, honestly. And Martin, Martin is in Argentina. He is at the moment teaching what English, German, French, I don't know what Portuguese, Spanish, what are you teaching? So an, a language teacher who at the same time has a degree in computer science. So Martin is our go-to person when it comes to technical problems. Yeah, being the server canvas, platform the cloud server da, 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 da. martin fix it mr fix it yeah apart from that he speaks excellent german excellent english and so we really are happy to be part of this very very small team we are open to others joining us but as i said it's the seeding time it's the uh, you know the the soil it's still in the you know it's just the three of us and we've been working also with ups and downs the three of us together for for the last three years three and a half years so but soon hopefully this will grow and maybe we can even harvest our efforts thank you so much for now we we wait for georgia to come in yeah 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 wonderful thank you helena for the slides you're most welcome we'll stop the recording here briefly because so georgia we are looking